Hi, it's Mike from Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and yes, we're back again on the print nightmare, bug, virus, code execution, exploit, etc., whatever you want to call it. Sadly, after posting the video yesterday and making subsequent updates to it, there was a official Microsoft release patch, which uh, sadly has been ineffective. Much like in Independence Day when they fired their missiles at the alien ship, they were mostly ineffective. So sadly, we still have to keep our print spooler disabled until there is a new patch available from Microsoft, which actually gets the job done. For those of you that are wondering from yesterday's video, uh, we did use PowerShell to actually disable the print spooler service. And actually I should quickly mention, for those of you that have posted and messaged and said, it's okay, I never use a printer, or I've not installed a printer in years, it doesn't matter. Hackers don't care if you've got a printer on your desk or not. All they're looking for is the potential of actually using that service. The service exists in all versions of Windows unless you've specifically disabled it already. So if you're one of those people that is blissfully unaware that potentially your system is possibly able to be compromised, then yeah, you definitely need to do this. So in today's video, we're not gonna use the PowerShell. We're actually gonna go in a slightly easier way for some people, and that is via the services menu. So we're on Windows 11 here, but Windows 10 will be effectively the same thing. The look will be slightly different, but the uh, the actual process will be exactly the same. So what we wanna do is first of all is open up our services app. So you can either click on the Windows start flag or choose search, whichever you choose to do, and just type in services, and you wanna launch the services app. You can choose if you want to, to run it as administrator. So what we wanna do now, this is our local services. So what we wanna do is scroll down until we find printer spooler, which is that one, sorry, print spooler to be absolutely precise. And as you can see currently on this particular machine, we've got it running and it's set to automatic, which you'll probably find yours is if you haven't already stopped it. So that means even though you haven't got a printer installed or there isn't even a printer on your network, any of that stuff, it doesn't matter. The service is always there automatically waiting for something to trigger it. So what we need to do is to double click on print spooler and we've got some options here. So the first thing to do is to stop the service. So we're just gonna go ahead and click on service and stop. And this will go through service control and stop the service. So now you can see the service status is stopped. Now what I'm gonna try and do every time you reboot, the service startup is gonna automatically try and run itself. So what we wanna do is click on the down arrow there and we wanna choose disabled and then click apply. So now we can see that our startup type is set to disabled, our service status is set to stopped. So this is probably an easier way of doing than PowerShell than having to memorize those commands obviously. If you wanna do it from PowerShell, you don't like using the services app, then you can click on the link in the top corner and you can go to our other video which will give you how to do it from the command line or PowerShell. But essentially, I would recommend everyone do this. It is pretty important. At the moment, it doesn't seem to be triggering too many instances. If you're using Windows 11, like I am, and you're using the kind of uh, the beta version, or the insider version, you'll probably find that when you boot up, your antivirus isn't working. So when you go to virus and threat protection, this is actually disabled. So this makes it even more important if you're a Windows insider and you're using Windows 11, because basically your f virus and threat protection kind of isn't working. So make sure that is active and make sure you've disabled your print spooler and hopefully you should be safe. So there we go. Once again, sorry to be the bearer of bad news. Um, I hope that no one actually does get affected by this or infected by it. It's gonna be one of those things where it's gonna run on for a while. Again, like I said in the previous video, if there's any updates or there is a patch which actually is working, then I will try and post it in the video description or in the community tab. So if you're not already a subscriber, click on the subscribe button and the chime icon and you'll be notified of future video releases. Lastly, all I'd like to say is uh, if you could, please do me and other PC users a solid and try and share this video across the social media platforms, Twitter, TikTok, uh, YouTube, whatever you want to do, just try and share it, Facebook even, just try and get the message out there until this patch is uh, available and actually is going to secure our systems. So I've been Mike, this is Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and hopefully we won't see you in the next video like this. Thanks for watching.